Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Josie and the Pussycats issue one. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 164, and that show will review all the comics I read this week in one show. So if you want to go check out the exclusive comics for that show, it's in the description below, and it will be annotated when it's posted on Friday. Also, guys, uh, I did uh, mother, you know, a new episode of Mother Versus, so that is posted and annotated here too. Uh, and this, uh, today I did reviews for Teen Titans Rebirth and of course Josie and the Pussycats. So you can check that out. The rest of the reviews will be posted Friday. But let's start talking about Josie and the Pussycats. Now, uh, this is obviously a new series for Archie. It's kind of following that new, um, I guess relaunch of Archie, so it's starting over the origins of Josie and the Pussycats. So we have Josie, of course, we have Valerie and Melody. Uh, you know, the issue opens up with with uh, Josie singing alone and, and not doing very well. Uh, and then she ends up meeting up with her roommate, Melody, who doesn't really want to do the music thing anymore. Uh, so she ends up going on a date. It's like her fifth one in the month, and she finds a cat. And then she's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go help out my friend, my friend Josie. And we're going to form a band for this charity event. And then they end up going to the vet to help the cat, and then that's where they meet... Valerie, their other, um, their other member of their new band. So they end up doing this charity, uh, of the band, or this charity event, and they're not that good in the beginning, because Josie's not really used to having a band, and then the ex-friend that Josie has, uh, she tries to sabotage everybody, and, and calls, uh, Valerie and Melody names, and says, yeah, well, this is what Josie thinks of you. But then they're able to make up do a good uh, performance and actually have a music producer find them and say, hey, you guys could be the next stars. So this is their journey of becoming the superstars that are known as Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about, obviously, is the artwork, uh, which I really liked. I liked how clean it was, very bright, um, and also I think it portrayed music very well, and that goes to the lettering. Uh, because, you know, music books are kind of hard, you know, music comic books, because it is a static medium. You're not hearing the music. So I'm interested to see how they're they're going to make it unique and, and really... Um, you know, make music the a big uh, vocal point in, in this book. So I like the art. Um, a lot of great facial expressions. I love the moments where Melody is, like, hugging the cat, and then and then the end of the issue, Josie's like, where did this cat come from? Was this, this cat here the whole time? So uh, really good facial expressions. Love the artwork. Um, now, the story um, I thought was really solid. Um, it introduced our characters pretty well. We learned everybody's personalities. Um, I will say, I think... Um, Valerie, the way she entered the band could have been a little bit more fluent, a, a little bit more organic, because it's like, hey, I know we don't know each other, but you're a good singer, let's do this Battle of the Bands, or not Battle of the Band, Charity of the Bands, um, usually it's a Battle of the Bands, um, and then, she, of course, she says okay, because she, she wanted to do it either way, but it seemed like their connection, um, happened a little bit too quickly, like, they had good chemistry right away, and they don't really know each other, so I'm hoping, hoping that we learn more about their friendship and their growing friendship as the series goes on. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, the character I like the most, obviously, is Josie and Melody. I think they were the, the ones that were most developed, and then I'm hoping Valerie will, and I'm sure she will be more developed as, uh, as the series goes on. Um, now, Josie, because she's the main character of the book, but Melody, I really liked her personality. I thought that really shined through in the book, and she was a fun part of the issue. Um, also, I like the little um, comment they made in the issue, where I'm hoping they'll they'll take that more uh, in the future. Is that uh, I think Valerie said, "Oh, you know, I'm really. I hope my dad's not here. I don't want him to see him me dressed like this." Uh, and then we have Melody who says, "Oh, I really hope my dad's here because she would love to see me dressed like this." So maybe. Um, Melody's dad is transgender, and, and, and then uh, Melody mentions her dad again, so I'm, I'm curious if that will be a story we'll see in the future, which i love to see. It'd be kind of cool to see that in the Archie universe, and uh, just learning more about their background, because that, I think that's going to be a big point, hopefully, is because this issue really does make them stars very quickly, or, you know, making them the journey of, of becoming stars very quickly. They don't really get to learn about the dynamics of the band too much because they really are a new band. So I'm hoping we learn more about, you know, their musical background and 
them as people as the series goes on. Um, and it'd be kind of cool to see their background. It seems like Melody and Josie has known each other for a very long time. They, they seem like they went to high school together. So very excited to learn more about all three of them. Really excited to learn about them. Um, I thought this was a really solid book though because everyone was really likable. The situations were likable even though some of the pacing I think could have slowed down a bit. Uh, but I really liked this book. I had so much fun with it and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to reading more Josie and the Pussycats. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there are links for my comic book like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.